Robotic surgery is the most advanced surgical tool we have now in our hand. In head and neck surgery, we are mainly using it for thyroid surgery where it gives excellent cosmetic outcome. Uh, patient will have no scar in their neck and also we are using it for oropharyngeal cancer that is the posterior part of the oral cavity where normally the access without robot is extremely difficult. person who is sitting in the console is doing the surgery and the patient cast will be in the patient's body from here we control the patient cut and the surgery is done so here we see this is the main patient cut so the patient cut just now what dr saurav was telling you about the surgeon's console so we are able to control the patient cut through the surgeon's control these are the four arms of the robot and within this we get the instrument attachments which are then introduced into the body at the same time the robotic surgeon is able to see all the intricate anatomy details sitting on the surgeon's console the people who are assisting from the side of the patient are able to see all the clear pictures with the help of the vision cart and this is how a robotic thyroid surgery here is being performed so robotic surgery as we all know has been first utilized in human body for areas which are inaccessible to conventional open surgery like surgeries in the pelvis its scope has been expanded beyond pelvis to encompass the head and neck areas as well right now the indications of robotic surgery in head and neck cancers is limited to certain subsites in the head and neck area which is in the tonsillar area in the lateral pharynx wall in the base of the tongue region and also for thyroid surgeries the advantages of robotic surgery are reduced post operative pain reduced hospital stay a quick discharge from the hospital and an early return to normal daily activities